Hi, my name is Vera. I'm a museum educator at the National Museum of the American Indian, which is located in this building in Lower Manhattan. Normally I work at the museum, but today I'm working from home. I'm going to teach you about the strawberry moon and how to make this strawberry craft activity. Looking at this map, we can see where the Haudenosaunee and Wabanaki Confederacy communities are in the northeast part of the United States and southern Canada. These communities follow a 13-month lunar calendar, and the sixth month is called the Strawberry Moon. According to their calendar system, each monthly full moon or lunar cycle is used to identify important lifeway cycles. The last full moon of spring is often called the Strawberry Moon. The strawberry moon is a reminder that the wild strawberry plants have blossomed and the sweet, ripe fruit is ready to be picked. While some communities have large celebrations with dancing, food, family and friends with the public, other communities have quieter celebrations with just friends and family. Strawberries are mixed into many different types of food, used as a topping, and is the main ingredient in a delicious strawberry drink. Because strawberries are so special, they're even featured in artwork by Native American artists. This strawberry basket was made by a Mohawk artist named Ava Point. Ottawa, Potawatomi artist Kelly Church made this beautiful red strawberry basket. For her, the hanging blossoms represent future generations. My Abenaki friend Carrie Wood gave me this little strawberry basket. We can celebrate the strawberry moon together by making these little strawberries. You will need red and green paper, a ruler, magic marker, scissors, a hole puncher, and string. Start with a one eight and a half by eight and a half inch piece of paper. Fold it in half so it forms a triangle. Turn it and fold it in half one more time. Turn it one more time and fold it in half again. Now turn it so the long side is on the left. Use a magic marker to draw a curved petal shaped line. Cut out the flower petals. Now that we've cut the petals, we're going to unfold the paper and look at it. Now we're going to draw two lines marking where we'll cut off these three petals. The next step is to take a hole puncher and punch a hole at the end of each remaining petal. Cut a string that's about a foot and a half long to weave in and out of each of these holes. Up, down. down and up one more time. Now we're going to tighten our strawberry. Once you've tightened up your strawberry, you're going to tie a double knot to hold it. The top of the strawberry will now look something like this. Next, we're going to take a four and a half by four and a half inch piece of green paper. Start by folding it in half to form a triangle. Then turn the triangle and fold it in half again. Now turn it one more time and fold it in half again. Now turn it so the long side is on the left. Now we're going to take a magic marker and draw a curved line that resembles two or three leaves. Cut along the lines to create your strawberry leaves. Let's open it up and see how it looks. That looks great. Fold the green paper in half again and use a magic marker to mark the center of the fold. And once again, we're going to use our hole puncher to make a hole where we placed the mark. Using your string, place one end of the string through one of the holes and then place the second string through the second hole. Once you've threaded them through the holes, tie a knot and then a second knot. Slide the leaves down into place. Tie a knot in the end of the two loose strings and cut off the excess string. You 
can decorate your strawberry with short alternating lines that represent the seeds. Your strawberry might look like one of these when you're done. Thank you for joining me and I hope you get to visit the National Museum of the American Indian really soon.